So today we're going to talk about creating equivalent ratios by scaling up and scaling down. Let's take a moment and review what the word equivalent means. So we've talked about equivalent several times. We've talked about it fraction to fraction, and we've also talked about it when we were talking about converting fractions to decimals. So we talked about the word equivalent representing two things that are equal in amount. For example, I could say I have a half is equal to four eighths. These are equivalent fractions, okay? Or I could say that seven ninths is equivalent to 21 20 sevenths. These are equivalent because they are the same, um, they, have, they represent the same amount of a whole. Let's start by talking about scaling up ratios. So when I'm thinking about ratios, I always for some reason think about cooking. And when I'm thinking about scaling up and scaling down, I'm thinking about serving size. So most recipes call for four serving size, so four people can have dinner with one recipe. But if I had a get together and I needed to have a recipe for eight, I could double that. So that is what scaling a ratio would be like. So to create a greater equivalent ratio from the original ratio, we must multiply both parts of the ratio by the same amount. For example, if I had one cup of milk for every 12 cookies I was baking, but I'm having a get together and I need to make 120 cookies, I would have to decide how many cups of milk would I need. Well, to get from 12 cookies to 120, that would be multiplying by 10. So that means I would need to do the same to the top. So one times 10 is 10, so I would need 10 cups of milk. Let's practice scaling up ratios. So in this first problem, it says, for every two cups, we have 16 ounces. So if I'm thinking about this, and I'm going from 16 ounces to 80 ounces, I have to think what time 16 would give me 80. So if you're not sure, you can always do 80 divided by 16, but I know that this is five. So that means I need to do the same thing to the cups, which would be multiplied by five, which gives me 10 cups. Okay, next problem, we have seven girls to every three boys. So if I go from seven girls to 28 girls, I know that's multiplying by four. So that means I need to do the same thing with the boys. So now I have for every 28 girls, I have 12 boys. Okay, and the next question says, I have 12 points for two every two touchdowns. So if I went from 12 points to 36 points, that is times three. So for two touchdowns, I also have to multiply by three. So two times three gives me six. So for six touchdowns, I'm just going to put TD, I would earn 36 points. And on the last question, I, in I have 500 centimeters is the same as 5 meters ratio. So to get from 5 meters to 20 meters, I would multiply by 4. So then I need to multiply 500 by 4, which would give me 2,000. Okay, because five times four is 20, plus the two zeros would give me the 2,000. Now let's talk about scaling down ratios. When we need to make an equivalent ratio that is smaller than the original ratio, and by smaller, I don't mean that it's a smaller amount. I mean that it is a smaller, it has the numbers that represent the equivalent ratio are less, but they are still of the same value. We must divide both parts of the ratio by the same amount. For example, if I had 18 twentieths and I wanted to find out, let's say, 18 cups for, of sugar for 20 servings, and I only needed five servings, I would divide this by four and also divide 18 by four. And 18 will go in there four times with two eighteenths left over, or one ninth of a cup. Let's take a look at these questions. So in this first one, 
it says $40 for 15 gallons, but I wanna know how much three gallons would be. So to get from 15 to three, I would have to divide by five. So that means I would have to do the same thing for the 40, is divide by five. And 40 divided by five would be eight. So $8 for three gallons. Okay, next we have 1,200 boxes for nine truckloads. But I wanna know how many would that be for three truckloads? So I would think, what did I divide nine by to get to three? You would divide by three. So I need to do the same thing to the number on top to keep the ratio equivalent. So 1,200 divided by three would be 400. Okay, on the next problem, it says I have 280 beats for four seconds. So if I went to 70 beats, how many seconds would that be? Well, if I think 280 divided by 70 would be four, so it'd be dividing by four. So divide this by four would give me one second. And last question, I have 520 centimeters is the same as five and 0.2 meters. So to get from 520 to 260, that's a divide by two. So that means I would also be dividing five and two tenths by two. And in case um, we need to actually work this one out, two divide, five and two tenths divided by two, two will go into five two times, which will give me four. I will have one left over, carry my two down, bring that decimal up, don't forget that, two goes into 12, six. So that means in 260 centimeters, there are two and six tenths meters. I know this was a short video. I made this really quick because I had a few parents um, and students message me asking for a video. So I'm sorry if I stumbled through anything. If you have any other questions, come see me in tutorials in the morning. Here is a short quizzes, just 15 questions on writing equivalent ratios by scaling up and scaling down.